wild ones and welcome my name is heather lynn if we haven't met before and welcome to the wild witchery today i have some wonderful things planned for us so let's begin There's positive or good energy, and then there's negative energy or bad energy. Sometimes energy in old objects comes with one or the other, or a mix of both. There's a difference between a spirit that remains or just the energy of the previous owner. Some ways to tell the difference are a true haunting can come with bad dreams for the family in the home, sightings or feelings of being watched, and then you know you've brought a spirit into your home. There are wards and protective magic to prevent this, but if a spirit is attached to an item, this won't necessarily work to prevent it from coming into the home because you're literally welcoming it into the home when you walk it in yourself. If after a week or two, after you've brought an object into your home, you just feel stagnant energy or attachment energy, I would call it, or just general bad energy, not good energy, you'll know what it feels like. It's very heavy and strong you can't really touch the item there's something there that needs to be removed and that was the case with this item that I was gifted I was gifted this item by my great aunt it's an old antique my family knows that I love heirlooms I love older antiques especially items from my relatives that have been used for a very long time they hold good energy they hold the energy from that particular person I just love using that stuff in my magic it's a way for me to connect to them and to honor them to continue to use their items is to me um, a blessing for myself and also for them it's this exchange that I get to have and it's definitely kind of like my way of connecting with them but also my way of thanking them I definitely use these items in my magic like my grandmother's bowl or my other grandmother's buttons also I have my grandmother's uh, sewing scissors she was a seamstress I use my father's pipe my grandfather's harmonica I mean just for me I find touch to be such an easy way to to, to bring in my ancestors. So when this particular item entered my 
house. I immediately felt that feeling, that heavy energy, and I sat with the idea of what to do. I tried to make peace with it as I made my decisions. I didn't touch it too much. I put it outside for a little while in the rain, but that didn't seem to help. As a solitary witch, I am truly confident in my abilities, but the idea of banishing, that takes a lot of strength, and so reinforcements were needed. Welcome. Today's the day, and it's time for a banishing. We chose to do this ritual barefoot to ground ourselves, and we also wore pretty much all black with the intention that we would take this clothing and put it in a closet away for at least two days, maybe even a full week. <laughs> we prepared an offering to the land, and we cast a protective circle and called in all four elements. Our circle was very natural. We used all sticks and rocks. A lot of times with forest magic, I will use pine, I will use cedar, pretty much any of the evergreens. We also brought items from both of our ancestors to this working. We felt that having the strength of our ancestors with us, and specifically we chose ancestors that like want to be there for us, ones that we felt could be a match energy-wise or be able to aid us in other ways. Connecting and knowing that this was okay for them to be present and also to help. There are some personal elements that I can't share on camera just because I wanted to share as very much as I could with you. I will say that we chose three plant allies to work through the banishing process. So we chose a banishing herb as well as a cleansing herb as well as a healing herb. And there was this process that we went through once everyone was there and we called in the elements. It just felt like we were connecting to this energy and it was going through like almost like a phase of letting go. And we used the plant allies to kind of guide that process along. I will say it lasted about 45 minutes. Both felt almost identical feelings about this energy and the life of this human whose energy was attached to this object. It was almost affirming. We both felt a release at some point. We also used snake skin as well for this cleansing and we intuitively felt that some time with the snake skin would be wise so that was placed inside the vessel. Also some time in the rain we felt was necessary so it spent a few days in two different rainstorms. We did it. We really did. And I maybe you felt like the first wave was enough, but I felt like there was still no, a little something it was there. Like, it was like something in our We ended this banishment with an offering, an offering to the land spirit. We also thanked the actual energy itself. During the banishing, at some point, I felt the energy communicating to me, asking me to use this vessel in a specific way. And I will absolutely honor that. Smart read if you were having a miscarriage um, and you needed something to aid you. Mm -hmm. She's a really good ally to like let go. And then maybe we should whisper something in there. I'm going to. Thank you. Thank you for the blessings. I think for both me and Har, this has really bonded us. And it's really been amazing just to work with another witch who has similar abilities, who has so much to teach me and I so much to teach her. It's so incredible to build friendship. There's a sun. Yay. Hopefully. 
Do I have anything? With fellow witches. And I'm really honored to be here in our wild community, just reaching out to all of you in the, in the comments, on Instagram, and I'm just really blessed to have all of you in my life. Thank you so much to Hearth for doing this working with me and the many rituals that we did. Girl, I really couldn't have done it without you, Horace. Thank you. I really, really love it, and I'm so glad I can use it and keep it in my family for another two or three generations. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming and witnessing this amazing magic and being part of it. If you have any questions, definitely leave some in the comments. If you have any suggestions, I'm always open to that as well. Blessings to your magic and your magical workings. Stay wild and come and find me again.